So John and I are getting a little, um, I don't know, cabin fever. Yeah? Stir crazy. Stir crazy. And the idea of this whole uh, uh, thing that we're doing here is to get out and see America. Let's get out. So let's get out. Where do you want to go? We're going to go see America? Well, part of America. All right. This is good. Where like you want to go? Uh, well, there's uh, Statesboro just down the road. <laughs> A lot happening in Statesboro. Uh, Macon. Macon. Getting closer, I think. Ain't nothing shaking like the girls in Macon. Mm -hmm. All right, so how about Atlanta? Atlanta. Atlanta like it. it is. We're going to Atlanta. All right, road trip. Yeah, here we go. It's a lovely drive to Atlanta. It's no longer pissing down rain. The sun has come out. Blinding. And we're still about three hours away. Absolutely, a lot to do on this trip. <laughs> and we still have three hours to go. <laughs> and I wish I had a beer. Oh yeah, it's time for a beer. Five Seasons Brewing Company you know, is an idea put together by myself and my partner Dave Lark, where the, the chef the executive chef here at Five Seasons, and the concept was to a place that would have good food and good drink. Since we were making the beer here, we thought it would make sense to source the ingredients for the food as close to Five Seasons as possible and get the best possible ingredients and basically try not to mess them up. The quality of the food, we try to match that with the quality of the beer, using the proper ingredients in making the beer. So we might use 12 yeast strains during the year, which is a little over the top, but at the same time, if it produces the flavors that helps the beers taste the best and subsequently pair best with, with the, the food, then, it, then it's worthwhile. We're sort of lucky here because we have a fairly large system for a single unit. Um, and we've got a little extra tank space that allows us to uh, age the beers a little longer. And, and that, I think, you know, helps to balance out or, or make the beers a little bit more consistent. Than, uh, than, than rushing them, them, them through. The beers at Five Seasons are truly de designed to pair with foods. And not every beer goes with every food, by, by no means. The alcohol laws in Georgia shifted dramatically in 2004 with the alcohol restrictions being lifted. Prior, we were restricted to beers that were limited to 6% to alcohol. In, 19, in 2004, they pushed it to 14%. Any serious beer drinker knows that there's so many beers that are brewed around the world that have more than 6%. My, my question to the Georgia legislature was always, what, you, you gotta be 21 to buy beer, you gotta be 21 to buy vodka or grain alcohol. What difference does it make what the alcohol in beer is? And of course, it, it, it was a stupid rule that, or stupid law that was, that was made and we had it overturned. When that law shifted though, it allowed for the, so many more uh, breweries to distribute their, their beer here. And consequently, Georgia has become one of the strongest markets for Belgian ales in the U.S., which is kind of crazy when you look at the size of our population, that we can, we can compete with the New Yorks and the and Chicagos. I don't know what drives people towards drinking real beers. I mean, I was, I don't know if I was blessed or cursed. At, you know, when I was young, I liked good flavors, good beers. And, and, I'll, and I'll say the reason that I like good beers was because I cooked and I was always you know since I was a kid I cooked in the kitchen it was an expensive habit to have in college where the rest of my friends could get away with drinking you know nine dollar cases of insert cheap beer here and I was looking really hard to find the best thing I could find and they thought they, they called me a beer snob then and I've spent most of my life looking and drinking in strange places all over the world and searching out good beers but I know that there's something that shifts inside your, your mind that when people discover what that is, that it does, it changes. It shifts you from going quantity to quality. Um, and I'm just happy that here at Five Seasons we can you know, hopefully help people along that, that, that way, help them on the path a little bit. So. Classic filet au poivre. Uh, this is the grilled crawfish ravioli. The duck both ways. <laughs> Explain to me what types of beers would go well with a duck. 
Well, with Duck, you can run the gamut on, on, on the table here, probably with the exception of the IPA. Anything we have on, on the table, anything malty, and honey most by the scores. Scotch Hill for sure, the, the Flanders for sure, the Seven Sisters for sure. Uh, a Dubell would go great with it. A Stout would, would go great with it. Anything that's got a good malt backbone to it. Not that you can't go with um, the citrus flavors, but you get that pretty, because of the arugula with the pickled shallots, there actually is some a uh, lemon and olive oil on that already. So it's pretty strong Too citrusy, and, and I've found that, that a real, real hoppy beer doesn't go as well with it. This is the grilled crawfish ravioli. You got crawfish and marscapone inside the ravioli, they're grilled. Uh, then you've got a kind of a Cajun cream sauce, the Andouille sausage, and more crawfish on, on the outside of it. This has got enough heat, you want something that, that's gonna contrast it well, so like our Hellas, something along those lines, or the so IPA, yeah, will go really, really well with it. Okay. And what about the beef here? This is the filet au poivre, I mean, it's a classic French bistro style steak. It's a peppercorn, black peppercorn encrusted filet, and it's seared on both sides, but one side, since the peppercorn is on it, the meat doesn't come in contact with the no, actual heat, only the peppercorn does. Um, but consequently, you get a blast of spice and flavor. Paired with the demi glass here, this is you know, any Belgian ale will, will go with that, with with that, or even a pale ale, but you know, British style pale ale will go great with that. Now, why wouldn't a hoppy beer go go well with something like this? You because you wouldn't really notice the hops with that much black pepper corn. It'd be kind of a waste. And I think an understanding people need to understand how good beer is with fruit, and I think it's just still a lot of people don't get that. Bottom line, <laughs> it tastes really good. I mean, besides the, you know, the quality of the food and you know, pairing it with the, with the beers, I mean, the presentation is it's it's beautiful. beautiful so, yes. And that you know, just enhances the... Every time we've been here, it's, it, it always comes out like this. It's always immaculate. It's always beautiful. I'm Dennis Lang, Chief Bus Boy, Five Seasons Brewing Company. Cheers. Oh, would it be cool if we could get like a go beer? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently they don't not have to-go cups in oh. Atlanta. I kind of wanted. Well, they to, do. It's just not legal. So you know, go ahead uh, and get one. And we'll, kind of wanted we'll a to-go Scottish. Yeah.